I was raised in Indiana, so I was a townie. And what that meant is I could live at home, okay? Uh, I could eat at home, I could be around my family. The downside was I'd be at home, I'd be around my family. But we managed to get through it all. Graduated from high school here in 1967, and I began uh, the summer session in 1967. And I uh, started off, I wanted to be a teacher. I had been raised in a predominantly mining community in a mining area. Here I had the opportunity to engage people from across the state of uh, you know, Pennsylvania, east to west. Students from uh, New York, Ohio, uh, West Virginia, Virginia. So it really expanded my horizons. I got to meet different people. I uh, got to uh, uh, discuss different perspectives on things. and. Uh, all, all in all, that was one of the most valuable experiences, just to engage with other people with other opinions and other perspectives. Diversity, I guess. I graduated from IUP in 1971, and since I was in the ROTC program, I was commissioned the same month into the uh, Army Field Artillery, and that's the career I pursued for the next 37 years. Today, I'm uh, working for the uh, Headquarters of the Department of the Army. I'm the director of the Civilian Senior Leader Management Office, which means that uh, I'm the director for the recruiting, uh, accession, uh, training, uh, assignment, and the entire life cycle of the Army's uh, senior executives. You know, we're all concerned that at the government, at the civilian level, that we have the uh, best and brightest, and uh, we can mold the force and we can mold in a manner that best serves the nation and the nation's requirements. I like the feeling that I'm, I'm part of that, the feeling that I'm doing something that matters. <laughs>